Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols worth and today I'm going to feature my top five premium Bibles for the common man. So obviously I don't have any Skylers, I don't have any Allens, I don't have any Rebinds and people are always, well, you don't have any real true premiums, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you today that these five guys right here give you every bell and whistle you could possibly want for under a hundred dollars. Each one of these Bibles you can get right now for under the hundred under a hundred dollars. The most expensive one is going to be the ESV Omega. You can get it for ninety nine ninety nine right now. That thing has really come down. So let's start off with my top. This one I'm going to say is my number one premium Bible for the common man, and that is the CSB verse by verse reference Bible. This thing has a beautiful cover, perimeter sewn, obviously. Um, the ribbons, oh, that's the only downfall of this Bible. If they could approve on those ribbons, oh my goodness, they could have something amazing here. I love the tool work on the spine, which kind of gives you an Allen kind of look. The gilt work on this thing is fantastic. Now, one common complaint that people have had on this Bible is that the art gilding isn't very good, but check it out. For mine, it's got a nice like purpley rose look. I love this extra yap here. This is a semi-yap perimeter uh, gold. Now, some of the newer editions actually have the gold going all the way across here, but this one kind of stops at the hollow in the spine. But there, this is a 9.5 font, got a nice little margin space, red highlighted verses, corner references. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. All right, and then we're gonna move into the Cameo uh, wide margin from Church Bible Publishing. This thing's under 100 bucks. I think you get it for about 90. This one I believe is about 89. And I love this. Check out this text block. Oh, by the way, this has 36 GSM paper. This is 33 GSM paper. And look at that margin all the way around. It's just absolutely gorgeous all the way through. And then when you get into the New Testament, you see there is no red letter. This is a full, now this is an eight point font. So you're gonna sacrifice font size a little bit because this is the Cameo text block, but they go ahead and add that wide margin, which makes it more of a mid-size. Love, love, love the spine on Church Bible Publishing. So you cannot go wrong with this. Some will say this isn't a premium, but I'm here to tell you, edge lined, uh, it has a synthetic liner, it's uh, sewn in, it is even gar art gilded, although it's art gilded the same color. Uh, this is premium in my mind. All right, so now we have the Thin Line Large Print New King James. You can get this one for about 90 bucks. Comes with three, check those ribbons out. Now this is where Zondervan Thomas Nelson really shine is they have the beautiful double-sided 3 8 inch ribbons. The art gilding is amazing. Um, you can see that nice dark rose gold, the, the uh, perimeter line. They also stop at the hollow here. So um, that's, that's kind of just like a stylistic choice. This has a cowhide liner. So that's pretty great. And of course it's edge line. This thing is super nice. I do wish they would have put hubs on the spine, but you know what? Um, the gold stamping looks pretty good on it. Then we go with the NASB Preacher's Bible from Zondervan. This one's from Thomas Nelson. So, so far we have hit Holman, Church Bible Publishing, Thomas Nelson, now Zondervan. And this is the Preacher's Bible. I actually use this one as my Preacher's Bible. Again, beautiful. 3 8 inch, double-sided ribbons, almost look as good as Beresford ribbons, in my opinion. Um, again, with the liner, you have your perimeter. And here, check this one out. This one actually takes the gold all the way around. So, a stylistic choice. Of course, art gilded. You got your red art gilding. And I've used this one, so the art gilding's kind of faded on this, but it's got a 10-point font. Uh, red highlights on your headers. And then lastly, the one everybody loves to hate, but I love to love, is the ESV Omega Thin Line. This thing is amazing and it's finally under $100. So check it out, the ribbons. So again, kind of like the Holman, this is something that Crossway could really stand to improve. Another thing is they stack the ribbons versus putting them like individually. I don't like that, but all things considered, I love the cowhide liner. I love that they took the gilt line all the way around to include the hollow of the spine. I love that they use a decorative headband, tailband, 10 point font, beautiful text block, not a lot of margin space, but just enough to get you by if you need to take notes. Look, if you're looking for a premium Bible and you don't want to spend two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500, these five right here are exactly what you need. You can get all 
five of these for the price of one in some cases because there are some Allens out there that are going for several hundred dollars. So anyhow, there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholas Work.